It's very common to find numbered lists on construction drawings. In the past, it was always a headache to add or remove items from a numbered list because it meant a lot of manual renumbering. Well, that's not the case anymore, as all of our lists are fully automated and easy to change. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create a numbered list. On my screen, I've got an architectural example. This is a drawing of a landscape fence, and I would like to add a list of notes to this drawing. I'm going to start out by panning this over to the left to give myself some room, and then I'm going to create some multi-line text. I'll click right here to specify my first corner, and then I'm going to right-click and select Height from the menu and make sure that my text height is set to 2 inches. I will then click again to set the size of my column, and let's zoom in a little bit, and we can start typing. Type Notes, and we'll hit Enter. I'll type my first number, and then here's the trick to creating a list. Hit your Tab key after you create the first number, and that signifies to AutoCAD that you're starting a numbered list. I will then add my note, and when I hit Enter, notice AutoCAD adds the next number for me, and then formats my text such that my word wrap looks appropriate. All I have to do is keep typing notes, and AutoCAD takes care of all of the work for me. Now that I'm finished with my list, I'm going to make a couple of formatting changes of my own. For one, I'm going to select this text and underline it. And then I'm going to come over and grab this diamond and make my column width a little bit wider. Now that I'm finished, I'll click on screen to close the editor. Let's take a look at how easy it is to edit a numbered list. If I'd like to change this, I'm going to double click on the text. And let's say I'd like to add a note to my list. I will click right after my fourth note and hit enter. And AutoCAD picks up right where we left off. Now, what if I'd like to remove a note? Maybe a note that's in the middle of the list. To do that, I'm going to click, hold, and drag across my text, and then I'll hit the delete key on my keyboard. Notice AutoCAD removes the note and renumbers the list. Maybe I'd like to add some space in between my notes. These guys are awfully close together. You would think that you could add an empty space by clicking after a note and hitting enter. Unfortunately, AutoCAD adds another number. I'm going to hit my backspace key to take that number away. Once again, notice AutoCAD renumbers the list. Now, I did get what I wanted, but let me show you a faster way we can do it. I'm going to click at the end of note number two, and I'm going to hold down my Shift key and hit Enter, and AutoCAD will give me a blank space between my notes. And when I'm done making changes, I'll click on screen to close the editor. Let's try something else. I'm going to double click on this list, and maybe I don't want this to be a numbered list. Maybe I'd like it to be a bulleted list. To make that change, I will select all of my notes. And then I'm going to come up to the Paragraph panel and click this flyout. This controls the type of list that we have. Right now it's set to numbered. If I click this option, we'll have a bulleted list. If I don't like that, I can click the flyout again. Maybe I'd like a lettered list. And maybe I'd like it to be uppercase letters. Once again, when I'm done, I'll click on Screen. As you can see, list creation is very flexible. Making and editing your lists is as intuitive as using your favorite word processing program. 